Captain, we are keeping you updated with the campus protests across the nation and closer to home at Cal Poly Humboldt. We've been told that almost all of the 32 people arrested early Tuesday morning have now bailed out. The Students for a Democratic Society in Humboldt was involved in bailing protesters out yesterday using donated funds, saying they didn't expect bail to be so high. He says the organization helped provide bail for 10 people and another bail fund showed up to help with the rest. But the real struggle, he says, was the cost of the bonds. We weren't expecting $10,000 bails, um, so we actually had to go through bail bonds for everyone. We had to have co-signers for them. We had to uh, go through a whole process with a bail bonds agency. Toledo says any leftover funds from the Students for a Democratic Society will go toward providing attorneys for people. Meanwhile, Cal Poly leadership penned an open letter to the campus community saying the actions of the past week contrast with the school's beliefs and can never happen again. The message included recognizing a difference between free speech and unlawful activities that, quote, put others and protesters themselves at risk, end quote. Leadership thanked the several law enforcement agencies that responded and said that while campus is closed through the end of the semester, it will likely be closed much longer. As for commencement ceremonies, modified plans are being made at off-campus locations. Protesters at college campuses are continuing to clash with police nationwide. Officers in riot gear streamed early this morning onto the campus. They were met by a wall of protesters who appeared unwilling to move. Officials had earlier ordered protesters to abandon their encampment. UCLA officials issued an evacuation order for all the protesters in the area of Royce Quad, saying the encampment, as you can see, a lot going on there. They said it was unlawful at roughly four this morning. Officers arresting more protesters, detaining some with their hands zip tied behind their backs. In the last two weeks, more than 1,600 people have been arrested at 30 schools across the country. In many cases, so-called outside agitators are blamed for stoking student protests.